but they love them so much. M Miko's currently trying to squeak it and with her paw. Are, are you are you having fun? <laughs> you want me to put it down? Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. As you can see, I am surrounded by fluffs and then a lot of stuff here today. It is newly 2019, so I thought I would take you through my yearly favorites of 2018. You guys know that my channel and all of my socials are kind of all over the place. It's all about healthy living, so I have everything from fashion to food to wellness and fitness all of that fun stuff i just went around and picked a bunch of different categories and my favorite things throughout the year 2018. so go ahead and start out with food because we all know that's my favorite <laughs> and have a bunch of different things here everything's from sweets to tea to drinks all of that fun stuff first one is justin's justin's came out with cashew butter cups and oh my goodness, are these amazing. I've loved their peanut butter cups for forever, but cashew butter is just a little bit richer and they're phenomenal. If you can find these, definitely do. Next, a little bit more on the healthier side. These are superfood mixes from Your Superfoods. They are vegan, gluten-free, organic, GMO-free, et cetera, et cetera, and I pop these into my smoothies. So I have three of them here. There is a power matcha, which matcha, maca, moringa, wheatgrass, and barley grass. This is like a super deep green one. There is, speaking of green, there is super green that has wheatgrass, barley grass, moringa, baobab, and spirulina, and chlorella. So this is a really great, like antioxidant full, all of that. They taste really good, and I just take a scoop of them and pop them into my smoothies in the morning. Then the last one is, these two are like almost empty, and I love them to death. And the chocolate I have to be in the mood for, but the chocolate is really rich in a good way. So sometimes I like something a little bit more fresh, but if I'm on the mood for the sweeter side, this chocolate is great. So it has cacao, carob, coconut, chia seeds, and leucuma also really delicious. Next, we have Tico Tea. Hi, Miki. That was very cute. So Tico Tea, this is their spiced plum, which is their holiday flavor. But, and while this is amazing, my favorite is actually their white tea pear, which I go through so quickly, so I have none of it in the house at the current moment. But they are a local Colorado company. They're based out of Denver. Their owner actually just had a little kiddo I saw on Instagram this morning, so super cute, but they're really, really nice humans as well. So I love me some Tico tea. All right, next we have snacks. So this one is actually closed because I just got a brand new one. I get them um, at Sprouts and they're so good, but Bienna, they are chock full of protein and fiber, but they're essentially like flavored chickpeas and their honey roast is my favorite. They also do a really good barbecue and a really do, uh, good ranch as well. So the ingredients in this are chickpeas, cane sugar, sunflower oil, wildflower honey, sea salt, and honey flavor. Like that's just fabulous. I love those ingredients. They're really fun. They get the like crunch of like a potato chip without actually being a potato chip, which is very nice because uh, potato chips, once I open the bag, I will eat the entire thing. Not the best idea. All right. Last two are drinks. This one is Just Tea. They're African chai. One, they smell amazing. They are in these super cute little bags. So they're like the little triangle bags and it's whole leaf tea. So in here, um, you have a lot of like spices and all of that fun stuff. I think I got this in like a subscription box and then got more of it. And each thing has 15 and I think there are like three left and this is multiple bags of this. And knowing how much tea I have in my house, the fact that I actually go through full boxes of tea is very impressive to me. Um, this is Fair Trade and Rainforest Alli uh, uh, Alliance certified as well, as long as um, non-GMO. So it's Kenyan black tea, allspice cloves, fennel, cinnamon, licorice root, rose petal, ginger, black pepper. I love this. It's phenomenal. And 
this is a chai that I don't even put any like almond milk or anything in. I will drink this straight. It's so good. And then a last actual edible item. This is Brew Doctor Kombucha. I love this herbal uplift. This one's really nice. It's got green tea in it. But I also, my favorite one of them is Happiness. Um, so they have one called Happiness and then they have a really yummy like uplifting mint, which is also delicious. But this kombucha company is based in herbalism. So they all of their ingredients in there are like in there for a reason. It's not just like a flavoring. Each one works in hi in a, a little bit of a different way. All right. And now these aren't technically food. Well, they're not food at all, but food adjacent. So this is my tiffin and tiffins essentially there's they can have like two or three layers, but it's my little like zero waste I snack container and I love this. I put um, like snacks or lunch or depending what what I'm having that day in this. This one is from World Market. Pretty sure they have them online, so I'll link it below. And then I also <laughs> hi Nico, what are you doing? Um, then I also have these guys. They're bento boxes from Blue Water Bento, and they are um, liquid safe. So if I want to bring like soup or salad dressing or anything like that, it is really great. What I originally got these for is I thought these would be really great for like water and stuff for the dogs, but the sizes I got were a little bit too small. So maybe if they have a bigger size, I'll go back and find that. But I've been using these for me all of the time. And they are like stainless steel and silicone, so there's no plastic in here whatsoever. And then I just have one of each. You guys have seen plenty of photos on my Instagram of these um, when I go bulk shopping. These are kind of more smaller things, so I'll get like almonds and stuff in the smaller weave bags. And then these guys are for more like bigger produce, so put like potatoes and onions and all of that. But they are so nice. And I you can chuck them right through um, the washing machine, which is really helpful for me. And on the actual tag of these, these ones are, um, they have their tear weight on there. And tear weight is this, like, Hi, Miko. Um, a tear weight is how much weight you take off from what's inside. And these are organic cotton, which I appreciate. And these, I got both of them on Amazon, so I'll link them below. All right, next, because they are being so patient, we will get into my favorite dog items. So just because we just came from food, we'll start out with their food. They eat kibble as well, but I know the dog's favorites are this stir in boom you add water raw raw beef boom ba dinner this is such great stuff it's a little pricey but it's amazing you add water to it and you let it um, sit either like overnight you can say about 15 minutes however i make a giant batch for a few days and i let it sit in the refrigerator but the Minimum protein in this is 28%. It's grain free. There's no fillers. It's non GMO um, free freeze dried beef in here. And this is from our company that sponsors us. I am loving you. And I absolutely love this food. I think it is so great for the dogs and they get like very, very excited about it every time I bring this out. So I switch in between their beef kibble and this one. This is a a hefty bag as well. Then their favorite treats this year, um, as per usual, are the ear candy. They have lots and lots of treats from I Love New and a bunch of other companies. But seriously, every time I pull, <laughs> as you can see, I pull one of these bags out, they get so excited. I will uh, not on the couch, but I'll let them have one of these later. But these are sourced well. There's literally, they come from um, grass-fed beef and they're made in the USA. Okay. Sticking with dog food, essentially. You guys have seen my unboxing video from iHerb. Um, 
you'll see that we got these Dr. Harvey's in here. I got three different ones, but my favorite one is the multivitamin and mineral whole food supplement. I love the ingredients in here. I take a little scoop and I pop it on top of their food, either their kibble or their wet food. And it is so good for the dogs. And I just like giving them, like I take vitamins all the time. Why don't we take the pups? Where'd you go? She's hiding. Next, you might have seen this on our Instagram, but this is from Waterpick. And I don't use it when we are inside, even though there is a shower attachment. But this is the water pick. It's like the dog. I'll find the actual name of it and put it on the screen somewhere. But this wand is amazing. I connect it to the hose outside when I'm giving them a bath and there are a bunch of different settings on here and it just clears out the shampoo so quickly. It's so easy to handle. You can use it with one hand. I literally was like filming with my phone in one hand and using this in the other hand and it was totally fine. But highly recommend this if you have a yard or an outdoor space where you can wash your dogs. Obviously in the winter they get washed inside, but this was phenomenal for when we were outside. Next is toys and all of their favorite toys this year. <laughs> Hi, we're from Kong. So Miko, we don't want to see your butt. Get back up here. Miko says, uh, no thanks. Um, but this is a little kangaroo with a little pouch. Miko literally sleeps with this. She'll like have it underneath her arm. You, you want it back already? Miko was very sad when I pulled this out of her bed to come over here. Then these are very, very messy and full of hair, but these are also the Kong. These are the big squeaker balls. Both dogs love this. I despise the sound. It is one of those like high pitched, oh my goodness, I want to shoot someone squeaking noises. <laughs> but they love them so much. Miko is currently trying to squeak it and with her paw. Are, are, you, are you having fun? <laughs> you want me to put it down? We can't play with these. We'll play with them after we finish filming, okay? <laughs> Dogs are funny. Alright, two last dog items. This is the most beautiful water bowl I have ever seen. It is handmade from um, a local artisan here in Denver and it is sold by Hound and Soul who I met at one of my um, local artisan markets that I work at. But I think this is absolutely beautiful. I would love and I'm planning on, I didn't get this until early November so it is a quick favorite um, but I want to go back and get matching food bowls for both of the dogs as well it's got such a good weight to it that they're not gonna like step on it and flip it over or anything like that I think they are gorgeous and what I am sitting on at the current moment you guys have seen photos of this on their Instagram but this thing one is super comfortable to sit on but two Every time I see the dogs on it, it makes me laugh. I think this is hysterical. It's like an orthopedic dog bed, but it's like one of the dogs laid down and then got on themselves on the floor. Miko, get your butt out of here. I maybe should have waited for the, uh, the dog stuff to the very end, but I love this. I think it is so cute. Both of the dogs sleep in all, all of the time. We're having such issues. Tinkerbell has a ball. Oh, good Lord. But yes. Anyhow, moving on. This is still dog stuff, but it is called a Chom Chom. A friend of mine referred it to me, and she's like, if you haven't used one, you absolutely need to. And it was one of those things I'm like, that can't be real. Like, there's no way. One, that is a ridiculous name. Two, there's nothing that works for dog hair. This thing is phenomenal. All you do is run it back and forth across your couch or wherever, and it collects, it has like this little like rubber brush and then like microfiber on the bottom and it collects and you open it and there is just all kinds of fur on the inside of this. This is my like savior when it comes to dog fur on furniture. Let's get into more human stuff. And speaking of rolling up my sleeves, now we'll do a few little fashion bits. 
This is one of my favorite new button downs and it's actually from American Eagle. I used to shop at American Eagle when I was in like middle school and high school and then it went really, really brandy. Like I've never really liked anything that was like American Eagle or like Abercrombie, even though I worked at Abercrombie in high school. It was like very in your face. So when I was walking by, American Eagle had a bunch of sweaters and then these really nice button ups in the window and I was like that can't be and then I put it on and it's super comfortable and really flattering and uh, as I grew up I got boobs and so a lot of my button downs from when I was younger there's just no way they're like giant gaps in the middle and this actually like works with my new curves which I very much so appreciate keeping with fashion I got these this year and they are my favorite things oh my goodness they are from uh, Freebird by Steve Madden and they are almost like like leather boots meet steampunk. They have like a fun lace-up all in the back. They've got zippers on the side. And the zippers on the side are so important for me because I have really crazy arches on my feet. So I can't even wear anything like Uggs because I can't get them up over my arches. My feet get stuck. So the zippers on the side are great. I think these are beautiful. And the more I wear them, the more they, they break in and the color gets even better. And I love them. Then I have a few little jewelry bits and bobs that come from local artisans. So both this ring, which is this like badass statement ring that I love and wear all the time, and I'll pop on these earrings, are from my friend Cassie who owns a jewelry line called Lux and Luca. Can we see these? I love them. They've got little quartz points at the bottom. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I wear them all the time. Um, she has such a fun style. She also does a lot of like stamped work. Um, I will link her down below, but she's local here in Denver as well. And then another local, I believe he's at a boulder, but these earrings I'm trying to put this one in the wrong hole. I have three holes on each side, but I very rarely actually wear six earrings, so. But these are from, they're called canned goods, and they are actually made out of recycled aluminum cans. And for each pair of whatever he sells, like their earrings and a bunch of their stuff, each jewelry he sells, piece of jewelry he sells, he donates a can of food to a food bank and I think that's really cool. And these particularly are super fun because they come off the back so you can either have the gold forward or the silver forward and I think that's really pretty. The last little bits of fashion-ish are kind of going more into like the sporty tone. So these are my new favorite yoga pants. They are shiny. The band up here is phenomenal, especially for girls who, Tinkerbell, out of the way. Um, especially for girls that have curves like I do. They don't gap in the back. Um, they hold everything in. They fit my butt, which is very nice, but they are from Carbon 38 and they are so great and I love them. And as you can see, they don't have dog fur on them. And if you can see, I am covered like full covered in dog fur with most yoga pants I wear. So the fact that I can go teach in these and not be covered in dog fur and not have to do a roller every five seconds is great. And then this is from Adidas. It is just a really thin puffer jacket, but I've never had a puffer jacket that was so warm while being so insanely thin. So I went hiking the other day, I was wearing this, and only this, even though it was like 20 degrees out, and it was totally fine. Love that. So not quite fashion, but more beauty. And we will come in to my beauty picks. You guys know that I don't wear very much makeup. I'm not a makeup person, mainly because I am a fail at trying to put it on. I love watching Tati. Westbrook here on YouTube and I just look at her and I'm just like how on earth is that happening? And I like tried to follow her stuff and instead of contour I look like a muddy pancake and it's like not cute but I have a few pieces of makeup that I wear 
all the time and I have really, really sensitive skin. So when I found these guys, and I actually found them at Sprouts, so I did an event with Sprouts that had this makeup there and I was like, I take all of it, yes please. So they have a whole line, but it's called Mineral Fusion. I love their bronzer, is beautiful. I use their um, concealer duo, so my skin is really cool toned, so I love that they have a cool tone as well. I'm not sure about like shade ranges or anything like this because I found mine, I'm like, mine, done, only. <laughs> um, but they have a lighter shade that I use like under my eyes, and then they have a darker shade that I use on um, blemishes. Right now I'm like full broken out. It's that time of the month, which is really fun. Um, but generally speaking, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to put on a little bit of concealer, bronzer to kind of like even that out, and mascara. Mascara is also mineral fusion. This is their volumizing mascara. And most mascaras make my eyes red and itchy if I like accidentally like wipe into my eye and then it's just like I'm allergic to everything and mineral fusion I have not had an issue with so I love all of their stuff yes please I still don't wear a foundation mainly because every time I try to put on any foundation I feel like I look like a cake and I just can't figure out how to fix that so essentially I'm just using the concealer as like a foundation to put around like my nose and like between my eyes and things like that. Love that. Next, still talking about face stuff, is Origins Original Skin. I have been using the serum for years and have recently fallen in love with their matte moisturizer as well. Um, both of these are the Original Skin with Willow Herb and I love them and they don't make me red. And generally speaking, I make a lot of my own skincare because I am so sensitive when it comes to a lot of this. So the fact that there's skincare that I can buy instead of having to make on my own is phenomenal. Love them. And then speaking of sensitivity, the last little bit of kind of beauty, I'm not sure if this is still beauty, but deodorant, here we go. Each and every, it's aluminum free, just deodorant. It's not an antiperspirant. I one of the last items that I switched over from a non-natural option to a natural option was deodorant. Mainly because I grew up as an athlete and I played soccer for 17 years. I ran track all the way up through my first year of college, etc, etc. So I was always like, I am just like a sweaty, gross mess. And I realized I didn't... Oh my god, I swear, this dog, there's just gonna be like white fluffies walking across. <laughs> but now that I'm not as intense of an athlete, I don't worry um, much about sweat. It's more of scent. And this particular one is Lavender Lemon. Um, they also have a Citrus Vetiver, which is fabulous. I have both of them, the other one's up in my bathroom right now, and I kind of switch from one to the other. But the thing I have to say about natural deodorant is it takes a while to like for your body to acclimate to it because I had been using like the typical secret extra strength deodorant antiperspirant for so long that my body needed to detox from all of the crap that I was putting into my armpits for a long time. And so I was like, oh my gosh, my natural deodorant is not working, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But after I used it for about, I'd say maybe like three weeks to a month, I sweat less naturally and I just don't smell anymore, which is fam uh, fabulous. And I feel like a lot of natural deodorants, I tried a bunch of different ones and they feel so like wet and gross when you put them on. And this one's not, it's like an actual roll up and it's totally fine. And you don't feel like you're putting like a swampy mess on your um, armpits. But yes, I love this. It's great. All right, the last couple of things aren't in like big categories or anything like that, but we'll start out with this little yoga wheel. So I've actually had this yoga wheel for say maybe two or three years now, and I just didn't very much so use it until this year. I kind of figured out, and there were a lot of like yoga wheel videos on YouTube. I got one because I was like, this sounds amazing, and then just never kind of dove into figuring out how to use it. But now, Miko. But now I use it all the time, especially when I feel like tightness in my upper back or my sacrum, I will use this guy. And it's also really fun to help stabilize you when you're going into inversions, like a headstand or something like that. You can grab on and hold it. 
Love that from Yoloha Yoga. Staying on the yoga thing. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. I love these. These are from Brentwood Home. This is, I have a bolster. I have like the neck one. And then I have oh, a meditation pillow. And these are so comfortable. They've got buckwheat in them. They're really, really well made. The um, outside zip off so you can wash them. And especially when you have puppies like this who like to sit on every pillow I own. Love, love, love. Last little bit. Dun, dun, dun. We'll stick with the wellness theme. And these are brand new. I ran out of both of them and literally just got more this um, week. This is the Echinacea Plus and Lemon Balm tinctures from Apothecary Tinctura. Apothecary Tinctura is local to Denver. I'm not sure if they sell online. If they do, I'll pop them below, but I'll also um, add links to other tinctures as well. Essentially tinctures are like a really concentrated herb that is suspended in alcohol. So I take these when I'm getting sick. I very rarely actually get like full on sick. When I feel like that little tickle in your throat, something like that, I will take, I will always say this name wrong, Oscillococcinium, which is a homeopathic that's really great for preventing like flu symptoms. Um, and then I will take Echinacea and Lemon Balm, both of which are really great for your immune system. And generally speaking, I can kick an illness in the bum. And then speaking of not getting sick, this is my homemade elderberry. I make elderberry syrup all the time. Um, you can use it preventatively, like a teaspoon a day to help you from keeping or help you from getting sick. Or if you are sick, it can help you get better faster. I believe I have a video. I know I have a blog post um, with a recipe, but I believe I have a video of this as well. And I will link that down below. But yes, in cold and flu season, these things are great. All right. I've got a couple of candles here. This is probably my favorite candle of all time. Um, I've never really watched Fixer Upper or anything like that, but this is from that Magnolia, what is it? Hearth and Hand with Magnolia from, oh my gosh, what is her name? You guys are probably screaming at me. Joanna Gaines. This is her Sugared Birch. It is my favorite thing in the world. I got this from Target. It is so good. This huge candle was only 20 bucks and they go on sale a lot. So I have multiples of these. And then I got like all of the pillared candles cause they for some reason all went on clearance at my Target. And so I just have like a plethora of this particular scent. I'm not a big scent person. So like if I find a candle I like, I'm like, give me all of them. Yes, please. So that one, and then this one is Old Pine Candle Company, and this one is Sundays. It's lavender and vetiver. And I also have their Sweater Weather, their Bluebird, and another one, but they are so good. They're 100% soy wax. They smell phenomenal, and it's such like fresh scents. This one almost reminds me of like laundry without the chemical smell. Um, but they're handmade and hand poured in um, Evergreen, Colorado, which is super close to here. I live about 20 minutes north of Denver and I found them at um, a local artisan market as well. And I know this is just me being like total grammar geek, but the fact that sun, this one's called Sundays and they don't have like the rogue apostrophe, which everybody like Sundays with the apostrophe. I'm like, you don't belong to Sundays. Sundays doesn't own anything. It's just multiple grammar nerd over but yes it's Sundays without the rogue apostrophe and it smells so good and just this is such my vibe like yes please give me a jar that I can repurpose after I finish um, using this candle last thing I have on hand is these fauna nature inspired illumination cards so essentially they're similar to tarot but they're kind of like animal power cards and they are these like beautiful hand-drawn cards and they're in like nice thick paper, which I really appreciate, but they are just so gorgeous. And they're like a really fun way to like pull out a card, see what you're feeling that day. If you've never used tarot, this is a really good kind of intro to tarot. So you get like the feel and the energy of a card without having to know any, um, 
like placements of cards or like how they work or you don't have to like look them up in a book. Um, on the front of these cards there are this gorgeous artist rendition of an animal and then on the back it says what the animal is and then kind of what the card's about. Okay before I get to the last couple of things look at this dog. She is literally like I was saying is snuggling with her Kong kangaroo. That is so beyond adorable. You are so cute. So cute. So one of the things that is not here with me that I absolutely love this year is my Berkey water filter. My in the middle of this year, for some reason, I guess the source of where my tap water came changed or something like that. And it went from tasting fine to absolutely beyond disgusting. Like, even if you put it through a brand new Brita filter, it was god awful. I don't know what happened, but it was like tasting dirt and chemicals. And it was, oh no. So I got a Berkey filter. Once again, super pricey but very very much so worth it especially if instead of tap water you're doing stuff like going through Brita filters constantly um, buying water I know my mom buys like the reverse osmosis water from the grocery store and that stuff can get pricey so the Berkey I love it has charcoal filters it has um, chlorine filters as well it has like takes out all of this crap from your water they're literally like a giant list on their website and I'm planning on doing a video all about that because I want to test my tap water versus Brita water versus Berkey water and see what those little like water tests like what has actually taken out and things like that because I think it's very interesting because the Berkey water tastes so much better um, so I love that 100% worth it if you are on the fence get it Second thing, I have a couple of fun new like furniture pieces. You guys know that I bought my house last year and I came from a two bedroom um, apartment, which one of the bedrooms was an office, to a four bedroom, four bathroom house, which is great, but I live here by myself. Essentially, I bought a house so these little ones could have a yard and I could have chickens, etc. And, um, it's taken a while to get furniture. Furniture, especially nice furniture, is very, very expensive. So I have a few things that are like my absolute favorites that I got this year. And then I have new furniture coming in this month from a company and I'm so excited because it was custom made and I can't wait. And then after that comes in, I promise I will do my house tour. I know it's been a very long time. But the things that I love, Right behind this camera over here, I'll put in a shot of it. I have a Papazon chair with a like shag cover that looks like the dogs and I love it. Um, it is one of the most comfortable places in my house. I like curl up in it all the time and it's so much fun. Then I popped in new flooring that was sent to me by a company called Free Fit Floors. I am doing a whole video about that. I have, a, if you can tell, I have a long list of videos that I want to do in 2019, but it is fabulous. It looks exactly like hardwood floor, but it's so durable. If one gets scratched, you can like pull it up and put down another one. But I had carpet going into my backyard and that was just a horrible idea with dogs and chickens and humans running in and out of that. I that carpet taking it out was so gross and I was like it was brand new carpet before I moved into this house and uh, no not okay so that I have absolutely loved and then my very last thing who I absolutely love I'm gonna go grab now so last but very not least this sweet little thing came into my life hi Miss Sage <laughs> this is my lion's head bunny she came in on Easter Sunday this year as my little rescue bunny because she was supposed to go to a little human and the little human didn't want her she came thoroughly traumatized like when I first got her she didn't let anybody touch her she freaked out she hid everywhere and now she is like super happy she like zooms around the house she hangs out with the dogs and I just Love this fluffy little accidental addition into my house. Found her on Craigslist. So uh, she is lovely and you've seen pictures of her like hanging out with the dog. Where is she going puppies? <laughs> hanging out with the dogs. 
um, and in her own little like bunny condo, which is one of my like favorite decorated places in the house. Um, but I love her. So yes, those are all of my favorites from 2018. As you can see, there were a ton of them. This is going to be a very long video. But if you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. You'll see lots more videos coming of health and wellness, of the pups, maybe of my little bunny who has officially zoomed away. <laughs> oh my god. On the very top of the couch. But you'll see lots of fun little bunny content, etc. So I hope you guys stick around and we will see you again soon. Bye.